All right, I had a friend who collected guns, and he had a uh, grand grandfather, great grandfather, who actually was on a cattle drive back in the late 1800s or early 1900s, and he had a picture taken of himself after uh, the cattle drive, and. Uh, show what he looked like after weeks on the trail and it looks he looked really messed up anyway the gun that he carried uh, while he was on that cattle drive I actually had pictures of and put it onto a, a life-size uh, bronze that I did and I'll show you a picture of it here and the gun of uh, detail in one second here I'll be right back Go. time to play with some play Here's the uh, photograph of uh, the clay that I sculpted of that gun. He, uh, it Buzz Keller was his name, and uh, he's no longer with us. He passed away a, a few years back. Uh, really a great carpenter and was a good friend. Anyway, uh, he let me borrow that uh, holster and his grand great grandfather's pistol um, that he carried with him on that cattle drive and I copied it uh, exactly in clay and uh, put it onto the uh, clay of uh, the cowboy that I did uh, near, near the beginning of the uh, century uh, the two th early 2000s well I scaled that photograph of that gun and made it to the size of this guy. And I'm thinking of putting the uh, gun partially under his uh, blanket. I don't know if I'm like that or not, um, but I'm gonna try it and see how it looks. This is what I'm thinking of. So this is what I'm thinking. I, I'm not certain I'm gonna do it yet. I just, uh, really just trying to figure out if I like the idea I don't know maybe I will I don't know well let's try it today and see what happens and uh, go from there all right be right back okay I'm working on the back of the legs and this is about as good an angle as I can get so you can see what I'm doing I'm going by a photograph that was uh posted by a friend of mine on my Facebook page um, of the back of a pair of shafts that helped me understand the wrinkles for the uh, back of the shafts. And uh, I'm putting that picture up here. I've uh, made an armature for this uh, handgun. I'm not going to sculpt every detail of the handgun because it's all, all going to be covered by the uh, holster. But I do have to have some detail in the uh, handle.
Okay, I'm switching back to uh, my plastiline clay because for the body of the uh, holster, I don't need to do it in the uh, monster clay. I can do it in the uh, regular clay. I'm trying to keep this in the camera view, but I'm having a hard time doing that. Now, most of this will be under the robe, but I still want to get it sculpted right. All right, I'm just going to paint the handle to match the clay. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes and come back to it when it dries. Before I can put the uh, pistol on, if I'm going to do it, I don't know yet whether I like it or not. I've got to do the shirt. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see how I feel about it. I'll live with this overnight and uh, come back tomorrow. And... Uh, I'll decide whether I keep the gun or not. All right, everybody. That's going to be it for tonight. And uh, we'll see how I feel tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.